Okay, so here we have the iPhone 4S, uh, which we all know about. There's no uh, no need to go into what the iPhone 4S uh, is and the upgrades that come with it and so on. But um, I found an interesting article in regards to the true cost of the iPhone for us, the true manufacturing cost of the actual components and the device itself. So I thought it would be useful just to uh, have a quick look at the individual component costs and so on. So I have an image, um, I read this in a national newspaper that uh, also had an image, so I've taken the image from that. It's not the best image in the world, it's not the, the sharpest out there, but it should do the job. So let's take a look at the individual component, or some of the individual components, and uh, take a look at the manufacturing costs of them. Okay, so here we are, we've got the, an image of the iPhone 4S here. Um, torn down, so with the, its main components. So if we take a look at the the top row first, um, we've got cameras, so that includes the front and the rear modules, and that comes to a total of ten pounds ninety eight. Yep, only ten, only eleven pounds for for the cameras. Um, the wireless antennas, so the the band that goes around the iPhone itself, eighteen pounds seventy five. So again, a lot lower than you would actually think it is. The touch screen is actually the most ex one of the most expensive parts of the uh, entire unit, and that comes to an astonishing £23. So only £23.09 for the entire touch screen display. The user interface and sensors include things like the loudspeaker, the sensor control unit, so the actual proximity sensor at the, the front, and the audio and volume jacks, um, and they come to a total of £4.28. The mechanical and electromechanical units, um, so we're looking at the main antenna, no, sorry, the vibration motor, the rear cover, the entire chassis of the actual phone itself, so the entire out outer chassis, comes to £20.60. Then we move on to the actual battery, which comes to £3.68 for the battery. So the next time your battery dies and you go in to have the battery replaced and so on, um, you're charged a whopping great figure, where it actually costs £3.68 for the actual component itself. The main connector and power management um, down the bottom of the phone, £4.49, so that's your actual dock connector where the, the actual speaker and the microphone are, um, £4.49. Random access memory, so the RAM in the unit, £5.68. The main circuit board within the unit comes to £9.36 and then the flash memory, bear in mind we're talking about the 16 gig uh, iPhone 4S here, so the, the lowest cost, £11.98 and that will naturally go up as uh, you get to either to the 32 or the 64 gig. So in total, if we look at the entire lot, we're looking at £112.89 for an iPhone 4S. Now the mains plug, the USB lead, earphones and packaging costs, uh, that's an additional £4.37. Uh, four additional costs of £4.37, sorry. That, so that's for the USB lead, the earphones and the packaging. The actual manufacturing costs, the labour costs and so on, is £4.99. Um, and Apple also have to pay for delivery, the software, the licensing, royalties and so on. So there's a healthy profit in there, although um, without being too critical of the actual profit, we need to take into account the, the software, the royalties, the actual licensing, and also all of the research and development that goes into producing uh, such a product as the iPhone 4S. But looking at the actual manufacturing cost alone, £112.89. So there's an insight into how cheap these actually actual devices can be um, when you talk about the actual component costs. Uh, although, as I said, bear in mind there's also years of research and development, the software, the licensing and so on, that also needs to go in. So that could uh, bump the price up a fair bit. Nevertheless, a healthy profit 
for Apple overall.